my name is Sarah Jo Kirsch, and I am normally the host on the Diamond Lane on Classic 107. And uh, I also dabble in singing. Um, and I'm part of this wonderful new project called Polycoro. Polycoro is a group of very like-minded singers who all enjoy each other's company and each other's voices. And we've gotten together and uh, John Weens is conducting us in this program of three really distinct but really stunningly um, rooted in, in antiphonal choral tradition pieces. This repertoire is is breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Um, we have a little Orlando de Lassus. Um, he was around in the uh, 16th century and he wrote this wonderful antiphonal uh, mass uh, that's a little dirty uh, in the beginning, <laughs> so it's a little scandalous. Um, also, uh, uh, we're so that's for eight voices. Uh, we have two on a part in that case. And then uh, we're also doing this relatively new work by Alexa Lozachuk. Uh, and it is, um, it's for how many different parts here? Let me look. Um, there's two basses, baritone, three tenors, three altos, and four sopranos. So for 13 parts, and many of us are singing one to a part, um, most of us, and it's challenging and beautiful and layered in all these stunning and gorgeous ways. Um, just initially you get this, this trickle of, of um, almost chant, like very, like almost tribal in feeling, and then it gets into this very like Western music sacred place, but in a really progressive harmony. And then the second half of the program is the Frank Martin Mass for double choir, and I, I have to say that it might be my new favorite choral work. Uh, especially because as, well, if listeners of the Diamond Lane might know that I really, really enjoy beginning of, like the beginning of the 20th century in French, uh, uh, in French music. And Martin uses these progressive harmonies, but through this wonderful organic and visceral kind of um, language that that keeps you, even though it challenges your ear, it challenges your, your idea of harmonic structure, it pulls you along in this really fantastic and satisfying way. Polychoro is, we're kind of a, a, a hand-picked bunch. We, a lot of us have worked together before in different ensembles in town, uh, including Winnipeg Singers and Kenzona. Many of you uh, may have, have been there. Um, also, Camerata Nova. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's a wonderful group of people who, I think we all have this, this innate pull to this kind of repertoire. Uh, and it's, it satisfies us in a different way than traditional oratorio does because it's all, first of all, a cappella. Uh, so we are we are the only instruments. And and when you get to sing um, with just voices, there's something I think really primal about it because you, the first thing that we react to, other than our mother's heartbeat, is her voice, right? And so you start thinking about the the absolute fundamental connection to to sound making as humans and when you sing in this beautiful space where you can hear each of these individual voices coming together in this this beautiful unified mass of of joy and torment and and uh and sonic expression um it is so incredibly satisfying and we all just really like each other because we've all most of us have worked together before and and the ones who, who i haven't worked with are people that i've been wanting to sing with so it's it's it, it's a joy it is such a joy to be there the other great bit of news that we have for you is if you can't make it to the concert uh Goodness, if you can't, um, we are going to be broadcasting it on Classic 107 on Sunday morning, the 31st of May, uh, between 10 and 12. It's going to be wonderful to be able to relive that. I'm really excited to listen to it, um, just because some of these sounds that we're making are just, we, I have to tell you, we were in rehearsal on, uh, when was it, Saturday night? Saturday afternoon. And, uh, we all had this moment of just realizing what we had just accomplished in this moment of just kind of musical magic, everything aligned. And we were all so impressed with ourselves <laughs> that we just completely bailed on the next section. We just all just forgot to sing um, because we were just kind of reveling in this moment of magic. So we've all just enjoyed learning this music and sharing this music with each other so much. So we would love to share it with you too. So please come and join us.